Hello everyone and welcome to my 20th video. So today I'm I have a very special guest with me. I would like to introduce my father. This is my father, uh, Dr. Enar Numai. And uh, today's video will be on the water filtration plant. So this uh, has been designed by my father. Uh, he is uh, actually a retired medical doctor uh, specialized in public health. So I think he'll be the best person uh, to uh, you know to explain this but uh, he has insisted that I do the explanation, so I'll try to do justice to what he has constructed. And um, uh, he's a very experienced person, so I think, uh, though simple, I think, uh, you know, the filtration process might be useful to you also. Uh, it's also a source of inspiration for my interest in fluid mechanics. And uh, this was uh, constructed in 1999, so it's been many years now, and uh, it's still functioning well. And the name has been given the Rehobot Complex, it has some biblical uh, significance also so I hope uh, this video will be of some help to you so now we are pumping the water and uh, initially when we pump the water it uh, first goes to uh, the sedimentation tank which is this uh, blue tank here so we let it settle for around four to five days then the, after settling the water it pump comes out here and it flows in this nala so this nala is around 11 uh, feet square like this so it goes, uh, you know, round, round like this. The first, the uh, process here is that uh, today being a sunny day is a good day to demonstrate this. Uh, sunshine falls on the uh, uh, the water, and then the UV rays and uh, you know all the good things. Uh, the light kills the harmful bacteria in a very simple way. And then the, after going the circular process, then it falls down in uh, this chamber. So altogether. You can see that uh, there are one, two, three, four, five, six. There are six chambers. So in this uh, first chamber, we have uh, bricks. In the second chamber also, we have a combination of uh, bricks and some uh, stones. The third chamber has some uh, broken bricks and a mix of charcoal. But the same for the fourth one. And the fifth one has some pebbles and uh, also some uh, sand and charcoal also. And from here, the water comes through this pipe here below. You can see the perforated pipe. And then it uh, slowly filters through the sand. So there's a layer of uh, sand and charcoal. And then from there, uh, it goes down to the storage tank. So uh, the storage tank is uh, also has a capacity of around 5,000 liters. So it's sufficient uh, for your domestic use uh, once in a while to pump it. And uh, you know the water is also, so to say, kind of filtered also. So uh, I think you have seen the entire process again once more, how it goes about. And uh, for domestic use, it's uh, quite sufficient. So my father is there in the background. So <laughs> all thanks to him and uh, his, uh, you know, ingenuity, uh, converting, uh, you know, uh, commercial type uh, sort of. Uh, filtration plant to suit a domestic one. So I hope you found this uh, video useful and perhaps you can also implement it in your own way in your own house also. Thank you.